Well, you can get one. Oh, Tegan is fishing with our little fishing toy. And oh, she has something on her chin. And while, yeah, thank you. And while she hasn't caught anything yet, that's okay. She'll keep trying. It's like the story that we're learning about in the Bible today. Whoa. Jesus was teaching by the lake and the people were so excited. <laughs> the people were so excited to see Jesus that they were rushing towards him just like Tegan was rushing towards you. And so much so that he had to find a better, safer place to be. So he asked for Simon to, this, this fisherman, to take him out in the boat a little bit. Jesus got in the boat and rowed away from shore a little bit. And from the, from the water, he could speak to everybody. And they could still hear him. Well, he told them a whole lot about God. And they were excited. And then everybody went back home. And Jesus turned to the fishermen. And he said, why don't you take your, your boats out a little bit further into the deep waters and throw down your nets and see if you can catch some fish. And they were like, well, probably won't catch any fish because we've been fishing all night long and we haven't caught any fish. And, and he said, but I mean, I guess if you're asking us, we will. And so they did. And by George, when they cast their nets down, they caught oh so many fish. <gasps> so many. They couldn't believe it. They had to get extra help to bring it in. Their boats almost sank. They were so full of fish. Oh. <laughs> At that point, Simon couldn't believe it. And he fell to his knees and said, Jesus, I've made too many mistakes. I, 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 I'm a sinner. I, I think you should probably just go away and leave me alone. And Jesus said, don't be afraid, Simon. No, instead, come with me. And instead of being, and instead of being a fisher of fish, you'll be a fisher of people. And all the people will come to us. And so that's what Simon did. And the other fishermen too, they rowed back to their, the shore. And even though they had so many fish, they, they left their boats, they left the fish for other people and they followed Jesus instead. And they were off on a new adventure. I like that story. It tells us, oh good, another one. It tells us so much about what God is like. God is powerful and generous, giving all those fish to the fishermen in the deep waters and their nets. God, that was a big miracle. God, God can do miracles. God is um, our friend and loves us and keeps loving us and keeps wanting us even when we've made mistakes. What else do we learn about in this story? That God is um, an adventurous friend and that not only does what God want us with God, but also God's got all sorts of surprises and new adventures for us, new um, things to do, new jobs for us even. And that we can be like the fishermen and listen to God and follow God. Thank you. Happy Sunday, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. You say bye-bye, Tegan. You say bye-bye. Bye. But wait, there's more. Speaking of new adventures and new jobs, I will be stepping aside soon so that Miss Maria can come in and take up the job of Sunday School Coordinator. She will be the new person to do children's messages and teaching and lesson plans. And we're really looking forward to introducing her to you very soon. So stay tuned. Okay, happy Sunday, everybody. Bye.